What's up everybody? Welcome to Drone Mania. Disclaimer my friends, this is not a sponsored video, nor did I receive this drone to do a review on. I purchased everything here 100% on my dollar. So you can guarantee you'll receive the utmost honest opinion and review and opinion of this drone. With that being said, I'll try it before you'll buy it. So my friends, here it is. Like I said, this is the Raiders F31G, AKA the only closest thing you will find in the market of a Tello clone does not exist anything else this is the closest thing you will ever find which i think is freaking awesome that i found this it's already been out in the market for about a year two years if i'm not mistaken and i just found out about this now which means it's not the most popular drone let's see why it's not we'll find out maybe it is it's just hasn't really been for sale so much. Maybe it's not, we'll find out. But remember, the closest thing to the Tello drone in the market. I am taking it out first to show you. This is how it would look. Really, really close. Let's put it aside, see real quick what's inside here. You have your controller. As you can see, this is the controller. Pretty much all the indications what it does okay the top buttons do not have any indications which i think is a real bummer they did not add that that is terrible they should have added that but they did not put that aside here is a little bag of goodies of what comes with it you have one phillips screwdriver four two leaf propeller replacements in case you break a propeller and your usb to pin charging cable now that is weird a pin charging cable for this drone that's not something you will really see but apparently this is what we're seeing right now and your cell phone holder with spring as you can see so you can put a 6.7 6.5 6 inch phone no problem then you have your user manual which is pretty thick for a toy drone so i'm guessing there might be some lot of features or things or maybe it's just in yeah there it is my bad different languages in here uh english chinese i'm guessing so yeah that's why it's pretty thick nothing special but i'm sure there's features and then here you have also english uh, sorry chinese and inside english basically telling you how to pose for photos pictures blah 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 what is this here? Instru instructions of choreography action, whatever that means. So I'm sure you can have like some options to do some cool things with this drone. Let's dive in and see what is up with this drone. So we know exactly how and what this little bad boy is. Okay, my friends, real quick to install this. This is the only time I've ever seen it through all the drones I've ever ever reviewed this is the only drone that to install this you must remove two screws which i think is really really funny so i just wanted to share that with you real quick so we'll be back when everything is said and done come closer okay so my friends we're ready to fly just before the flight i wanted to show you how strong the winds are here so at the moment let's get a nice turnaround on it so where the wind catches here as you can see 8.699 almost 10 it reached so there is pretty strong winds for this little drone let's see how well he will perform here okay my friends we're ready to flight let's power on the drone and the controller this is the craziest thing I had to share with you. I've never seen this in any type of drone before. To power on this tiny little guy, you have real here a little tiny button. If you can see that, it's so itsy bitsy, it's crazy. So you have to hold that. There it is, the lights are on. Wow, it's very windy here. 
we just put it on the floor hopefully the grass won't bother it then we power on the controller up down and it should be ready so take off start and land there it is wow the wind is just blowing it away okay right here this button on the top is the speed rate it doesn't show that but it is listen one two three three speed rates now it's pretty doing pretty good against the wind let's see the stability of it how well it is even though it's windy one two three so you can see it's just flying like crazy but that's naturally because of the wind that is going on up here i'll bring it close so you can see the drone more and now it's trying to fight with the drone oh my god there's a lot of the wind. wind here yeah it's the wind here babe a lot of wind here so here it is yeah you can see i'm putting forward and it's really fighting look at that how it's fighting so there is lots of winds like i showed you so it is handling pretty good but this is not a time or place to take it up high in the air because it will just be a flyaway and i'm not in the mood to lose this drone at the moment let's see some of the functions so you have a camera blah 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 this right here i'm sure is the 360 flip let's try that oh really quick i hope i got that in frame gonna do that again more up close because it's the fastest flip i've ever seen check that out boom that's really fast boom fast wow wow really fast really fast <laughs> really fast but look when the winds are not coming i'm seeing this drone as very very stable so that's really really good it flies beautiful everything nice i like it it's beautiful really really nice drone my friend so let's get into the camera and see how well it films my friends let's drop it whoa let's drop it hand drop there we go so now we just uh, finished the flight let's get into the video i hope you guys enjoy the recording of the raiders f3 1g okay so we're gonna now connect to the camera so what you want to first do is go into the wi-fi settings it shows z flip 4 that's not what i want i'm guessing this right here fldss is the drones wi-fi let's see if i'm right checking the quality of your internet connection yeah that's the one so it's called fldss 99ab <laughs> that's crazy you always want to connect only this time okay so connected without internet now we're going to go into the only app i've ever seen that a drone have its own app most of the that's my games oops most of these drones right here most of these apps you see right here are very similar drones that using the same app but in this case its app is the fpv fg so let's get into that let's go to free flight i'm not mistaken and there i'm connected now this is marked as a 720p resolution camera so let's really see if it does record in 720p we'll remove this so we'll be able to see everything beautiful but first i want to record the flight and then i want to make it disappear and it's showing right here in the corner that it's recording the flight so let's get into it
So my friends, that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to show everybody how the drone flies, how well the cameras, how well the quality is, and everything seems to be top, top. I did cheat, however, the film that you're seeing close to the end of the footage of the camera. <laughs> it was me holding the drone because the wind was just too strong and it wouldn't be fair to the drone's camera. But what I can say is the film quality looks pretty good and as well it was always connected to the phone. That could be because I was a very close distance. Another video will be which will be when the weather is better with less winds to see how far range it can receive between the camera app and the drone and as well how stable the drone is. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss an updated video of this drone. So that's pretty much it for this video, my friends. The closest thing you will find in the market anywhere of the Tello is the Raiders F31G. That's pretty much it, my friends. I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped you out. I hope it gave you some insight on the only Tello clone in the market. Till next time, remember to be safe. Take care, have fun, and peace out, people. Boom!